before starting up the sewing you would like to wash the client hair with shampoo and conditioner so that the hair won't be itchy after sewing in the weaves now i'm just parting her hair because we are actually going for a side pattern so i'm using a tail comb to actually achieve the pattern and here is how i can roll the hair starting from where her hairline starts in front we'll just can roll it to the back using a tail comb to just help section the hair out so as i'm controlling i'm adding little extension just so that the hair will be able to withstand the pressure of needle and thread for the second line of the corn roll, we corn roll until I get very close to the tip of the hair. We just go ahead to add the first corn roll tip to the second and then braid it down. Doing so so that the hair at the back will not be or by the sides won't be bulky or too high. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in for today's tutorial. I hope you are doing good today. Please, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead to click the subscribe button and join the family. Give this video a thumbs up like a big thumbs up and then leave a comment in the comment section below this is a very detailed um, sewing tutorial i would advise you to watch this video from beginning to the end so that you don't get to miss any step we we'll continue con rolling using the same method adding the previous con roll or the previous tip to the next con roll connecting all the tips of the hair to each other and add up the last two tips of the corn roll to the last corn roll and then use needle and try to just hide the last tip of the corn roll. So this is what it should look like after corn rolling. Okay, this is the hair we are using for today's tutorial and it's from I Show Hair. I've used this hair before. It's 100% human hair. I used it to create a ponytail tutorial. We'll leave the link of that tutorial in the description box below mentioned in my previous video that the synthetic waves are always single that's the comb single while the human hair waves are always doubled this is what a human hair wave look like they are neatly sewn to each other for this particular company like i said before this hair is from i show hair because of the doubled waves it's always difficult to kind of do the turnover method using a human hair so today i'm just going to be showing you guys how to do the turnover method using a human hair like sew in from scratch this is the needle i usually use i'm so comfortable using this needle this is the thread i always use it's a black thread so any black thread will also do as you just want to fold the thread into two and then pass it through the needle like so and then bring it out from the other side of the needle making it like four strands of thread after passing the thread through the needle and measuring it down to the tip you just want to like go ahead to tie the knot of the tip so that when you are sewing in it won't get to like losing then we just use the scissors to cut off the excess thread Okay, for the first stitching of the weave, just push the needle through the weft of the hair first before taking it to the corn roll and then push it through the corn roll and bring it out from the other part of the corn roll and then drag the needle and thread out. You will have to run the needle and thread more than once just so that you secure that part of the weave that's when you are starting up so that it doesn't, it will hold firm dragging the needle out it tends to like form a loop just take them between the opening of the loop like twice pass it through it twice and then drag it out to tie the knots so that the hair will be firm let's do it again just push the needle and the thread through both the weft of the hair and the corn roll and then bring it out from the other part of the corn roll to actually form a loop then pass the needle through that loop like twice so that it will kind of tie the knot you are dragging the thread out use your hands to push both the needle and the corn roll so that the knot will be tied firm i have to do this twice or three more times so that you get a better understanding okay we'll continue sewing this way until i get to the end of this line I get to the end of the line we kind of take the web further a little bit further and then stitch it more than once before flipping it or turning it over to the next line 
Once I turn to the next line, we'll still go ahead to push the needle through the weft of the hair and the cornrow, bringing it out from the other part of the cornrow. Instead of just dragging it once, we'll just go ahead to like roll the thread round the needle twice before dragging it or pushing it outward completely. I really like you to pay attention to this video carefully if you want to learn something out of this because sometimes it's kind of difficult to explain hairstyling. The best way to be able to understand is just just to pay attention to every detail while you watch once the weave is being turned over to the next line since it's a human hair which is double weave you will still need to push the needle from upwards to downwards or from up to down and then when you are dragging it you drag it up that part will be laid flat Okay, you can only do this method while doing the turnover method on a human hair so that that part will actually be flat. It will be laid flat. I'll allow you guys to see for yourself and understand for yourself. So just watch this video very carefully. <music> to the end of a particular thread you just have to use the scissors to cut off the needle first and then use the thread and tie a knot like twice or three times before you completely cut off the remaining part of the thread then you continue with another set of needle and thread just sewing in in the same way over the same pattern okay we'll continue sewing in the same way until i get to the front when i get to the front we'll show you guys the other way to actually achieve the turnover method is so similar to this sewing in the first three line to for you to start sewing in the fourth line you will have to take the third line further to the front that's to the first corn roll in front of our head and then you flip it over to the next line doing the turnover method and then continue sewing making it the fourth line that i am at the front part of our head i'm just taking the weft of the hair from the right side to the left side of our head because we are doing the invisible closing without a closure or a frontal after taking the weft from the right side we just continue to sew till i get to the left side of our head okay since i have more space on the left side than the right side we just continue adding more hairs or more weavons to the left side of our head and to add more hairs to the left side of the hair we just continue sewing when i get to the pattern side that's the pattern line we just flip the hair backwards and continue sewing backwards instead of taking it further to the right side of the head i'm just going to sew it backwards this is so that that part won't be scanty because if i continue sewing in like i take it from the left side to the right side there will be more hairs or the right side will be more fuller than the left side hope you get what i mean you can do this pattern or method like twice or three times so that that particular part won't be scanty hope you get it okay now that the both sides are getting pretty close to each other we'll just start doing the round closing method but this is not the final closing we we'll just start taking the hair round and round that's the weave itself i'm taking it round and round and sewing it as i go now at this part or on this part to add more weaves or hairs to the front i'm just doubling the webs first in front of our head just so that the front part will also not be scanty to be full enough before i continue sewing in we'll do this like either twice or three times so that the front part will also be full before i continue continue doing the round closing method so we continue sewing the hair round and round just to finish up the closing a space on our head and as a stylist while doing the round closing method you have to be patient while sewing it in just sewing it round and round so that you don't jump any space jumping a space will not give you a good result but carefully sewing each weft very close to each other will give you a very good result so like i said before while doing the round closing method do not over space the weave so that there won't be any space when you try to pattern the hair on that particular part where you want the pattern to be
okay after sewing in you just open up the hair that's the pattern using a tail comb to do so or with your hands you can actually use your hands to like open it up or use a tail comb to do so to pattern it and while patterning it using a tail comb you are also kind of brushing it so that the hair you'll be able to be so that you'll be able to tell if the pattern is okay for the client or not brush it a little bit and then if it's a coily hair you don't really need to brush it so much but if it's a straight hair you can brush it very well so that you can be able to tell if the pattern is good enough for your client once that is done you just take the needle and try to sew that part like so just watch carefully to understand what i'm doing <music> that this is what the hair should look like you just go ahead to spray with water just spray the hair because it's human hair and it's a coily hair so you spray it with water i won't be able to apply anything for now i'm not applying any cream hair cream for now so i'm just basically arranging the hair like so so yeah thank you so much for watching this video to the end this is the final look hope you enjoyed this video hope it's helpful hope you're able to learn something from this video or from this tutorial please if you did do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up share to friends and family share it to friends and family and leave a comment in the comment section to tell me what you think about this hair and also what tutorial you want to see up next on this channel subscribe if you are new here just go ahead to click the subscribe button and join the family we'll talk to you guys in my next video stay blessed bye